What up, guys? This is Muzza. We're at the East Gate of Freeside in Fallout New Vegas. I'm on my level 30 melee weapons character. Look at that chainsaw, man. It's fucking sweet. I just got that a few days ago. Um, I don't really know where I find it. I don't think it's a unique weapon, but today's unique weapon is amazing. It's the most awesome thing I've ever seen in this game, and uh, it's relatively easy to get. All you gotta do is uh, come up here at the East Gate of Freeside and pickpocket Max here, and you're gonna get the weapon called Euclid Sea Finder. There's other ways of getting it. You can pay him a thousand caps for it if he's awake. But uh, I prefer just to pickpocket it from him rather than kill him or talk him into selling me it, things like that. Um, so I just stole it from him, running around with my chainsaw and my power armor and stuff. And when you first get this gun, uh, it'll probably be pretty low level. You can get this gun when you're like level 7 or 8. Whenever you make it into Freeside, this is at the Freeside East Gate. That's where he sleeps, is upstairs on that uh, abandoned shack up there on those uh, ratty mattresses. And, and all you gotta do is pickpocket it and you're gonna get the gun. Here we are at Helios 1, I'm at the very top, and uh, you're going to have to go through a long, long quest chain called That Lucky Old Sun. Once you get through it, you're going to come to the very top here to finish out the quest. You're going to activate the control panel, and that'll finish out the quest right there. There's 350 XP and an achievement, and uh, That Lucky Old Sun is completed. What's, what that, that's going to do is uh, give you a charge on this weapon, and it's going to show you how this weapon works as well. It takes all these solar panels from Helios 1, beams all this solar energy, into one little spot in the air and then shoots it down. And there you can see Archimedes 2 charge added. Uh, that's that's the ammo that this weapon uses. When you first get this weapon in the game, it's supposed to uh, like basically trick you into thinking that it's just a toy gun, that there's no ammo for it, and, and you don't know where to get the ammo. But as you make it farther and farther through the game, um, just come to Helios 1, do this side quest, and then you'll be able to enjoy this weapon. And uh, you can recharge that once a day from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in game time. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that lucky old sun quest. It's pretty easy, but this is what the weapon does after it's used. So there you go. A giant, giant beam of solar energy. It kills everything within like a 100 foot range. Um, I'm actually going to show you what the real weapon looks like when you use it, but that was just kind of an example. I decided to kill all the NCR, because I don't really like the NCR on this character. On my other energy weapon slash guns character, I'm going to side with the NCR so I can have a, an NCR companion along with my other companions and stuff like that. And uh, just play through that side of the, of the quest storyline, because uh, I kill the NCR constantly on this guy. But uh, here's what the weapon looks like when you use it on, on a bunch of buffalo. It's a lot of fun to use. It's easily the best weapon in the game. And probably the most awesome I mean look at that so cool it can kill anything in one shot and uh, you can only use it once a day though and you can only it's kinda rough to go get a charge because you have to go all the way up the stairs and uh, go get your new charge of the gun so I don't use it really other than for novelty purposes but if you want the sweetest weapon in the game that's how you get it um, if you wanna learn how to do the quest that lucky old son I'll have a link in the bottom bar so I don't have to explain the whole thing for you there's a lot of different ways you can do it basically just go to Helios 1 and uh, engage with a bunch of people and eventually get started. It's an easy side quest. But uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. I will have a lot more Fallout videos even through Black Ops, and I'll see you guys later.